we hope to do this evening is to remove any doubts around flexible working. We have a super panel tonight to tell you exactly how it works, why it works and why we need more of it. Tonight is about inspiring more of you to make that change. Employers massively underestimate how many people want to work flexibly. We estimate that around 9 out of 10 working people in the UK either have some form of flexibility or want it in their next job. Um, and just under 9 out of 10 men. The creative and media industry is one of the worst industries. If we don't create a more flexible industry, we lose those voices and, and what we see on the screen and the stories that we tell um, hold a mirror up to our society. So this isn't just for parents and carers, it, it, it's, for, it's everybody's right to have a, a healthier working life. It would be good to see that shift in terms of job sharing. I think there's something about men thinking this isn't for me and that it's, it is a mum thing and just a mum thing and it's not open to men and it's trying to get that message across to other people. Nikki said, well, uh, what, what are the chances of the job being part-time? Uh, and my first thought was, oh God. <laughs> and then I thought, actually, that's really uncharitable. There's no reason why on Operation Arch we can't. It's not a revolution. It's simply about evolution. I think 78% of Gen Zers want flexible working over a higher salary. So it's almost going to come to the point where you don't have a choice. Guys, it's going to happen. <laughs> so are you going to lead it or are you going to be at the back? It's owning the voice of, I was nervous about this, but look what it's done. Everybody, please thank our wonderful panel. I think tonight's been amazing. I think the speakers were really good. I think it's uh, amazing seeing this many people here. Um, hopefully, in a couple of years' time, we won't need to have this sort of event because it'll just be the norm. Look, it's fantastic, and let's face it, it's the only way we're going to keep really good people on TV. The event was inspiring. At RDF, we've got job sharers, but I think there is an issue with freelancers. Who, who would come to a, a, a company unknown and present themselves as an item. And I think it's actually about changing the mindset of executives and series producers who uh, should really just think about taking two people on as one. There are lots of people in the room who are really on board with this, but there's an industry out there that aren't yet, and that's, that's the next bit that we've got to do.